one zero, sky conditions, few clouds, five thousand five hundred, temperature three one, dew point one nine or how temperature two nine or nine or six. Visual approach and use finding in a party runway one seven left. Notices the airman, runway one seven right closed, runway one seven right localizer DME out of service. Convective Sigmet zero five central, valid for the Abilene area. Hazardous weather available on flight service frequencies. VFR departures advise ground control of initial heading and altitude. Arrivals contact approach on 127.2. Advise on initial contact. You have information x-ray. Let's go back to ground. Abilene Air. Boom. Okay, so winds 170 to 11, visibility 10, 5, temp dew points good. Altimeter is 2996. we got to enter that in three places. Oh, you're at 2986. Good. Yeah, all right. 2996. There we go. And hit the borrow button. Hit borrow, right here. Okay, and we want to turn that till it says 29.96. Wrong one. Oh yeah, I know you've done it right. 29.96. Those are the three things you do there. Okay. Okay, so we got the barometric pressure set. We know we're going to be on 17 left. He's, probably, he's either going to give you Charlie Mike Delta, Charlie November Delta. Those are the two ways to get there. And so we got to call them up. You're going to do the radio call. So you're going to tell them who you are, where you are, and what you want to do. Okay. So you're going to say Abilene Ground. This is Skyhawk, 2931, you don't have to say November, you just say 2931 Hotel at Abilene Arrow, ready to taxi with x-ray, and we'll be going to the traffic uh, practice area today. Sure. Is that what you want to do? Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, okay. The white practice area. Actually, tell him we'll be uh, northbound for air work. No We're going to go northbound for air work today. Okay. Um, you said, do I have to say November or not? Oh. Okay, good. You do not have to say that. They assume that's a U.S. registry. They assume you're a U.S. registry airplane. Okay. Who we are, where we are, and what we want to do. Oh. All right. Good. Oh, you're good. You're talking. You hit that button and you're talking. Yep. Abilene Ground, this is 2931 Hotel over at Abilene Arrow. want to go uh, northbound for some air work with information x-ray. November 2931 Hotel, Abilene Ground, runway 17 left, taxi via Charlie Mike, say type aircraft. You tell them Charlie Mike and we're a Skyhawk. Charlie Mike, 2931 Hotel, Skyhawk. Okay. And you need to tell them that you're ready to taxi. Two, say 2931 Hotel is ready to taxi. 2931 Hotel is ready to taxi. Skyhawk 31 Hotel, runway 17 left, taxi via Charlie Mike. Taxi via Charlie Mike to 17 left, 2931 Hotel. Okay. Perfect. Add a little go juice to it and she'll come out of here. Play. Skyhawk 31 Hotel, departure frequency 127.2, squawk 0307. Got all that? 0307, write it down. Tell him 127.2 and 0307. Uh, departure frequencies. Uh, 127.2. 127.2, squawk 0307. Okay, good. Hit transponder. Right. Uh, right. Expander. Says expander. Okay. Zero and hit code. Put in the code. Zero three. Zero seven. Good. Okay, good. Now, we can taxi. Okay. We'll go below, if you go below 600, she dies. But you're at 1,200 now, so you can go back to 1,000. Right. We're going to go north just because there's storms up that way and see what's fun up there. We're not going to fly in them, by the way. <laughs> 
be fun though. I've never done that before. Oh so. uh, no, you know, it's only fun once. Oh, okay, yeah. it's only fun to think about it. Yeah, pretty much. My last encounter with a thunderstorm was my third time to be anywhere near one. In 15, 16 years of flying and 2,600 hours. That was three times too many. <laughs> you know, it's funny how, you know, when Mother Nature decides she wants the right of way, that's just all there is to it, you know. I'm going to build this big 50,000 footer right here, and if you people, you know, you, you people just get a great. Yeah. One too fast. So slow her down. Oh, and that's what kind of what happens to you when you get going a little fast. Yep. It's kind of wobbly in the back. That's a 3 1 hotel. How far north are you going? Oh, tell them 10, 15 miles, maybe. 10, 15 miles, maybe, 2931 Hotel. It's power up. Cessna 31 Hotel, 20 miles north of Abilene Airport. There's a 10 mile, correction, 10 mile diameter extreme precipitation. Uh, 3 one Hotel, yeah, we we have that. We're, Fort Phantom is kind of the area where we're heading, that and just east of there. Roger. That's uh, at Cell up there 20 miles away. The thing about nature is that uh, it is very, um, it'll kill you. Boy, it's neat to look at it. No, if you can get, you know, somewhat close to it, and it's educational for for sure, sure, sure. Start slowing down. We're going downhill. Both feet on the brakes. Okay, good. Hey. Okay. Pull up here and do the run up. Oh, we're good right here. Now I'm going to show you something about this little Garmin unit. These two little squares right here where that storm is north of us. Yes, sir. When it's cursor. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, no, I don't want that. Cursor right there. Come on, baby, move. We're not moving. Well... Am I not doing right? Push center. Now, um, I obviously I can't make it do it, but if I do, if I put the cursor over that, it'll tell us the height of that storm and how fast it's moving. Right. Okay, probably forty-five, fifty thousand feet. Something. It's supposed to work just like this. It's supposed to be able to pan. Oh, that's not doing right. Change. Okay, checklist, run up. I'll figure out that cursor in a minute. Before take off, uh, no, 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 yeah, right here. Okay. Um, it, we got all that autopilot test. Um, autopilot test. Here we go. It's already in. Okay. Done. Okay. Manual electronic temp test. See if it's working. Oh, good. Okay. In the center. It's good right there. Okay. That's all of this. Autopilot's already done. Skip all of that. Go down to 10. All right. That's it. Flight controls being correct. Yes, sir. All right. Um, altimeters, we're good. Altitude bug set. 
altitude bug, okay? Hit alt, which is, God, gotta get, uh, turn that until it reached 4,500. There we go. Okay. Altitude bug, heading bug. Okay, uh, the heading bug, we're gonna take off to the south. So just turn this till it says 170. Right here, blue box. There we go. Um, autopilot, altitude pre-select, set. That's what we just did. Right. We need to put the, that in the autopilot though. Make that say 4,500. Up, there we go, okay. Make that say 4,500, yeah. All right, standby flight, instruments should check. Okay. Fuel quantity. Fuel quantity is right here. Okay. Right. Very good. Uh, Navcom radio set. They are set. Right. But we need to go to COM1. That's what we'll use to get off, the, uh, hit the left one. Left one, always the left one. Right here. COM1. Huh? Yeah. Good. There okay. go. Yep. There you go. Okay. And then um, transponder set, squat code. We already did that. Uh, FMS, GPS. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, that's good. G1000 weather. We're not doing any of the rest of that. We're good. Okay, right. now we need to go down to uh, next page for takeoff. Seatbelts, cabin doors and windows. I'll let you shut yours. All right. Uh, F FFD, MFD, no red X. Okay, no red X's anywhere. All right. Selector is on both. Good. Um, elevator trim set. I did that. Make sure the best power. All the way forward. Yep. Model 18. Hey, we're going to run it up to 1700 and your feet on the brakes and you're going to do a mag test over there. 17. Left mag. Good. Back. Right mag. Good. Back. Right. Good. That's it. Right. Our back. Make sure we got vacuum. Green. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. Okay. Let's take off. Good to go. All right. Okay. All right. Call them up. On tower. All right. Hey, tower. This is Skyhawk. Two nine three one hotel. One seven left. Ready to take off. Abilene Tower. This is two nine three one hotel at one seventy left. One seven left. Ready to take off. Two nine three one hotel. Abilene Tower. Wind one six zero at eight. Runway one seven left. Cleared for takeoff. Left door right down roof. We'll do a left downwind. I mean left downwind and clear for takeoff. Left downwind, one seven left, go ahead for takeoff, two nine three one hotel. Looks good on final. Yeah, so I don't far. see anybody coming down there to kill us. That's good. Uh, Dalen, remember this plane doesn't climb as fast as those one eighty two. Yeah, you just, yeah, we're gonna ro start rotating about fifty just over fifty knots. She's not going to come off till about 60. Okie dokie. Let's go. Well, let's start pulling her into the air. Eat, push. Yep, 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 push. Yeah, we need air speed here. Yep. So we're going to come off real flat because we got big luggage in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yep, and we want to keep her nice and flat and let her get up to that best climb rate about 75, 80 knots. All right. Around in there. Yep. And great. I'm in too steep. Push the nose over. Yeah, you let me out. Careful on the speed. Uh, 
All right, we're going to start a gradual left turn whenever you're ready. All right. Phone a turning. We're just going to fly, turn it toward the downwind. Sky 31 on the tail radar, contact, say altitude. Tell them we're passing 2,600 feet. Passing 2,600 feet, 2931 hotel. Number 310, right? Remain this frequency, and uh, you're just going up to a practice area and then you come back to regional airport? Tell them that's affirmative. Affirmative, 29310. Number 310, right? Just advise returning to regional airport. Tell them we'll advise on the way back. We'll advise you on the way back, 29310. Now, here's something you need to learn about thunderstorms. Just because the red is bad does not mean green is good. Okay? It's all bad. There's nothing good about it. It's all bad. Okay? <clears throat> It'll all destroy you. You know, so. I turn to the left. Straight toward Phantom up there. Alright. You can see that monster blowing up right. This is the Virga, but you can see the built the cumulus shooting up right over here. That left bubbly cauliflower stuff going way, way up. Uh, now I, got, I now figured out how to move that cursor. All right, now let's get that cursor up to right here. See what it tells us here. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, the tops of that thing, it's moving 016 at 15 knots. Top is 31,000 feet okay, on that booger. Okay. Well, how are you? 37,000 going through that. 3,700, yeah, uh huh, yeah. If we were at 37,000, we'd be passed uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. We'd be dead. I can't believe they're not hiring 31. One of the reasons I'm going north is because I do not want to be south if the storms are drifting in from the north. You know what I mean? Then I can't get home. Okay? I know the weather behind me is good, and that's where I need to eventually go. When you get to 4,500, just level her up. All right.
trim her up, get her level trim plot, and pull a little bit of power. Let's get that RPM back. She's going to come right up through the red line like this. Up, pull on that throttle a little bit. There you go. Good job. All righty. Pretty nifty looking, isn't it? Yeah, pretty crazy. If, if we were up here at night, this would be a light show. See the tower bonanza 200 golf delta. Is Several one of these little plus signs. That's a lightning strike. And the last five minutes. Runway 160 at 10, runway 17 left, clear to land. Okay. Clear to land, 17 left, zero golf delta. We don't delta want to get under in, this uh, darker stuff coming up right here. So let's uh, start a right turn. What do you guys want to do? Zero golf delta, right traffic approved. Okay, we'll make right traffic, zero golf delta. I've got a, a, a radar scope app on my phone that tells me the, all the... Flight number 3 hotel, that area of extreme precipitation is uh, one one miles north of you. If you prefer to stay a little bit closer to the airport, that's approved. I just got one Bonanza that's uh, from the southwest. It's going to enter right down to 17 left. That's great. We're turning to the east now. Uh, we just wanted to kind of see the show up here, but uh, we're close enough right here. Hotel. Yeah, you're, you know, 11 miles south of it, but I was just worried about a little outflow, maybe some turbulence for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to get any closer than this right here. So, this is close enough. Yeah, 31 Hotel, right here. Got some build-ups over this direction. All right, let's do a right turn. Keep turning right. Up. Doing good. Yeah. I've never seen Phantom with that much water in it. Amazing to me. It's good. Good that it's full. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Flown over town. 31 Hotel would like to do a city overflight. Uh, is that possible? Here. For 31 Hotel, affirmative. Uh, just proceed direct to downtown and that'll keep you northwest of the Bonanza. And I'll point them out to you when you get a, bit, a little bit closer. That'll be great for 31 Hotel. We'll be roughly 4,500 feet here. Number 31 Hotel, Roger. And are you based here, a local pilot? Yes, sir. Roger. It's a Bonanza, he's 3,000 feet over Kirby Lake. He'll be uh, right down for runway 17 left. If you're going to stay that high, it'll be no factor. We will make it a point to stay above 4,400 for a 3 1 hotel here. 3 1 hotel, right? Climb just a little bit. Yep. Good job, man. Good job. Thank you. All right, he wants us to go straight to downtown. You got that in sight? Going just pretty much straight ahead? Or? Yep, that's All it. Right. This is 20 here on the north side. There's your airport to the left. Bonanza's underneath us, so... I don't know why we can't hear the Bonanza. He's on the same frequency we're on, or should... Well, he may be on approach.
Doing good, man, doing good. Is that Elmdale over there? It is? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's do a left turn toward downtown over here. All right. Just because that's where he told us to go. Get this cloud out this window over here, though. Oh. Big old monster, man. Big old monster. All right, this booger now, 40,000 feet. It's growing. Okay. Yeah, it's getting up there. Yeah. Monster storms. You wouldn't survive that. Nice Air Force Base. Big runway in the distance out there. They frown on us getting too close to that. And if you get really close, I, I think they shoot you down. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think you, the last thing you see is this little, wow, that was a cool flash of light. What was that? Oh, that was a surface terror missile. Oh, great. <laughs> Very close. Very close. <laughs> Wind one five zero at Niner. November three one zero tell there's no aircraft in the area now. If you wanted to change altitudes, that's approved. Three one zero tell appreciate the flexibility. Okay, let's go left. All right. We we'll just circle over the big skyscraper down there. That's downtown, right on. Uh, Hendrick Hospital, all that, right behind us. First Financial Bank downtown. Pretty nifty, huh? All right, anything in particular you wanted to do today other than this? We'll fly, pretty much. Okay, managed, so. cool. Okay, all right, let's start a descent then. All right. Been up, uh, uh, by the time we get down, it'll take a while, so. All right, so let's start. Yeah, zero Gulf Delta, disable turn right Delta 1, quick 180 approved if you need it. Actually, it doesn't have to be quick, but a short 180 approved. Contact ground 121.7. Have a good day. Oh, man, we got Delta 1 and then over the ground for Zero Gulf Delta. Have a good evening. Thanks for the help. All right, that's your, out, your, uh, auto, your system telling you 300 feet below your target. Let's do a left turn and do a descent in that turn. We'll just turn back around 180 degrees in a nice shallow descent. Oh, just bring her all the way back around to north. Just keep on a turning. Oh, you're doing great. I haven't touched anything since we took off. In fact, I don't recall touching much to take off. Even most of that. Can't get over how much green space there is in Abilene that you don't know there is. And uh, yeah. Okay, we'll set you up to land back over here. All right. Is that a whirl? Three one hotels ready to come back in and land. Three one hotel, right base runway one seven left. Clear to land. Wind one six zero eight. Cleared for the right base for three one hotel. All right, let's do a turn here altitude yet. 32, good. Let's keep us coming down to about 28. 
And just stay in that turn. You get to 28, uh, let's put in first, uh, well, we're pretty far out. Just keep on coming down, yep. You know, when you're up here in the sky, everything looks so much closer together. Yep. Hey, let's hold this altitude right here. Hold her up. Uh, there you go. And have to add a touch of power. We're below the green arc, so add just a touch. Green arc. Got yeah, a little more juice. Stop the descent. You're still going down 300 feet a minute. There you go. Add a little more power. Yeah. There you go. Getting pretty short today, so I'm going to let you land with full flaps. That'll keep the airplane a little flatter and you'll see better. Okay. You got two white and two red on the light, so that means you're perfect. Well, keep the power up and put in first notch flaps right now. Boom. Voila. All righty. Good deal. Hey, alive number 70 knots. We don't get below 70. Put in the second notch flaps. And uh, all righty. Good. We can fill that buffet. Let's put the barn door all the way down. Shove them down to the wall. Good. Now, you watch that speed. She'll bleed off real quick. We're a little bit high, so we're just going to hang the nose down. There you go. She's not going to speed up on us with this much drag hanging out there. Looking really good. Hey, we're coming down too steep. Yeah, I know it says four white, but it'll go the other way real quick. Oh, a little fast, so we're going to pull just a hair of power. I mean, just a hair. There you go. And we're going to bring the nose up just a little, and that's going to slow us down to about 70. Uh, looky there, man. Now we're going to pull most, pull a little more power. A little more power. And we're going to pull all the power right here. All right, so keep her coming down. Now, looking good. Power's all the way up. Pull it all the way up. There you go. Now we're going to flare right now. Easy. Too much. Now a little more on the pull. Right rudder. Nicely done. Nicely done. Cessna 2 9 through an hotel. Right turn Delta 1. Contact ground point seven off. And we won't make Delta 1. Can we have Delta 2? Through an hotel. Through those questions, you can have back taxi Delta 1. Your discretion. Delta 2 will be fine, and uh, we'll go to ground. Good. Very, very good, sir. Now, make sure as we slow the airplane down that you keep the RPMs above 600. Okay. Because as she slows, they'll drop without you doing anything. Okay. You're bringing the flaps. Raise the flaps. Yes, sir. And lean the mixture about an inch. All right. We're going to bring us off. There you go. Good job. And we're going to switch to the ground frequency, which means we need to come to. Right. Boom. All right. Say Abilene ground. Hawk 2931 Hotel going to Abilene Arrow. Abilene ground 2931 Hotel. Skyhawk going to Abilene Arrow. If he doesn't respond, we stop. November 2931 Hotel Abilene Ground, Texas Abilene Arrow via Delta November Charlie. Hold short, Mike, for now. Delta November Charlie. 2931 Hotel, De Delta November Charlie. Hold short, Mike. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Rock and roll. Way to fly. Yeah. Fun just to 
you know, at least get back up in the air again. Yep. Been a while. Yeah. Man, look at that storm. Oh my gosh. It's incredible looking. Yeah. If we'd flown north another mile, we'd have hit the flow. And you would have known it yeah. when we did. Open your window over here. Yep, just to, yeah. No sense in being any less comfortable than we have to be, you know. Now, he wanted you Delta November, not Mike, so we're gonna keep the speed. Do you wanna hold the shirt of Mike? We're not to Mike. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, okay. Keep the power up, okay. but use brakes. Aztec 2-1 Yankee, continue taxi. Aztec 2-1 Yankee, we will do. We're needing our gear run up, though. Good job, man. Plus, there's an airplane sitting there. We don't want to run over him. Wouldn't be good. We're going out for a multi fading training. Cessna 31 Hotel, continue taxi. Continue your taxi, 2931 Hotel. Perfect, good. Those storms have shifted their movement like I thought they would. Now they're moving east southeast. So, let's see how high they are now. I got more information in this airplane than I do when I get out of this airplane. 30,000 on that one. Thirty-four thousand on that one. They've shifted their movement to one hundred two and thirty-nine thousand on that booger. But notice it's moving one two eight, so it's now moving southeast. Yeah. Pretty much, Ford, Clyde, and Baird out here. When you go to the Emory Riddle camp, how much time do you get to fly? They said anywhere from four to eight hours. So. Can you do some in a sim? I'm guessing. I don't know. They they had said yeah. four to eight hours of flight time. So. Cool. Uh, week long deal. So. You'll be hooked. He's already hooked. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the camp that I'm going to is uh, actually like an introductory camp to like people who have never flown before. And I was going to go to the one that, you know, where people have flown before and they're kind of into it. But my mom has to go to Cheyenne, Wyoming that uh, week. So couldn't do that one, but I'm going to the, the introductory one. What does your mom have to do in Cheyenne, Wyoming? Uh, the Frontier Days there, she has two draft horses to pull wagons. and. What does she do? Uh, Nothing. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's she just goes up there for the fun of it, huh? Pretty much, yeah. It's like a two-week-long deal up there. That's cool. She used to be a school teacher at Wiley. She taught kindergarten at Wiley for about eight years. Yeah. Just got tired of it, and I guess she retired and started her own business. And I actually always tell her that she doesn't have a job. But I guess if you're doing what you love, then. Yeah, that's what I tell people I'm doing. That's what I like to do right here. So how far is this runway on? How how much longer do you think it'll take? My lifetime. <laughs> it seems like it's taking forever. I don't know, man. I don't even remember. 
I'm not even sure I can fly when they get it done on that run. I'm not sure I know how to take off and land there, but maybe I can relearn. Forgot. Oh, keep power up. Don't let that power go down. Okay, we're going to come out here. We're going to go around this airplane. We're going to make a reasonably sharp left. Okay. We're going to go behind that first T6. There's Bryce. We're going to park on the other side of that red bird unless somebody tells us otherwise. All right. We're going to take the best spot on the field unless he tells us something else. Well, what's Bryce doing? I mean, he's teaching whoever owns that 182 how to fly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'd be my guess. <laughs> 